I'm just going to unpause the physics and then let the AI drive for me. Oops. And that way I can go over some of the extra features. Don't worry, it's a P1, it'll catch up. <laughs> so one of the biggest features that we're excited about that, to see that it come over to D3D12 is bundles. And not only is it because it's a free threaded recording model, um, but what, if, what the new command lists and bundles on D3D12 gives us, gives us are command streams that are directly executed by the GPU. There's no more resubmission happening in the driver on the CPU, so they're very low cost um, for the CPU and we can get all that performance back. But one of the best features about draw bundles, and one that we use very heavily on Xbox One, is the inheritance. And what that means is that they can have resources set on the device that they can refer to, even though those resources weren't available at recording time. Now this is a major feature for us because what it'll let us do is take any of these trees, are all probably um, several different bundles, but they're all common models that have been recorded to bundles. And we can set different constants so we can instance them around the scene, and constants to drive material parameters, and also different textures. And so we can completely get the variance we want across the scene and the density but we've amortized the recording cost of the bundles, which is extremely important for us. So the next big feature that for us is having the resource lifetime. Now, not only can we track the resource memory ourselves now, and that's important for size reasons, but we no longer have D3D tracking that lifetime. And so that means there's no more expensive reference counting happening at execute or draw times. It's all up to us, and that's the way that we like it. And importantly, as Anoush pointed out, resource creation and destruction is now free-threaded. In D3D11, we were seeing major hitching and CPU overhead issues because on background threads, we're constantly streaming models as we drive around the track. And as we do that, we would create the resources that we needed for the models. And that meant that we would see hitches on the primary rendering thread. And then finally, an important feature um, for us, this new to D3D12, newer than what we have on Xbox One, is the resource tables. And what that lets us do is create a complex set of resources, like I said, all the constants and textures we need for a particular bundle, and we can set that entire set with a single command. And so a single command to set the full resource set and a single command to set the bundle gives us the maximum efficiency that we want. So overall, we're very excited to see console-style development coming to PC with D3D12. And we're especially excited that these features are going to come back to Xbox One.